I got him. Yeah. I don't know. I just swear, that's a flounder, a thick flounder. Oh! Oh, I gotta get him in the boat. Oh my God. Get it in the boat! Get it in the boat! Get it in the boat! Let's go! Woo! Boy! And welcome back, bros. Today on the Adventure Bro Show, we are going to be showing you how to belay a flounder. Now, this is a massive flounder. Let me go get it. Here we go, guys. Here we go, bros. Now, first I'm going to just clean off that layer of slime from the fish, just so I can get a good grip on it and it's not sliding all around. It's gonna slide around because it's a fish and it's slippery, but it'll help me out a little bit. All right, next thing you're gonna wanna do is get your knife and we're gonna just start by removing the head. So we're gonna get right above this bone here. We're gonna come down, go right around this fin. Coming up to the collar. And there's gonna be one little small bone right there. So we're gonna end up breaking that backbone and we're not going to cut through the back of the bill your knife out but we're just going to flip it around and make those same cuts on the other side all right now that we've got those cuts made should be able to come right in here and see how easy that was to get that backbone separated now that that meat was separated now all we've got to do is pull all of that out and that's track oops I missed all right so now we've got just our clown okay no head no guts but the way that we're gonna do this we're gonna take a long stiff blade this is the longest blade I've got and look how much it's gonna go in it's not even gonna go in all the way but we're gonna come in on this side okay right here and we're gonna press that against the backbone we're gonna press that blade against the backbone and push Okay, and once you get that all the way in, you're gonna start to just turn the tip of that knife and move back and forward. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna see that knife tip come through the skin, okay? And that's what you want, okay? That's what you want. Now it's come through. Now you can just Keeps on, and there we go. All right, now we're gonna lift that meat and repeat the same process, getting in a little bit deeper, okay? You can actually see the blade of the knife moving through the meat. Okay, now we're gonna keep going down, okay? I'm gonna continue until that fillet of that half is all the way off of the backbone. All right, one more. That's it, now you can flip this back and you can see that's all backbone. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing 
to the other side, the other half. But this time we're going to be finding that rib cage first. And it's going to be that same process. Keeping that knife up along the backbone, it's going to come through the skin. And then you cut. Okay, lift it up. Go in again, push, keep that knife angled down. You're going to cut. Now, once you've done that part, you're going to lift these two pieces of meat up and come here. Okay? You're going to come here, get that meat, and just separate it from the backbone. Now, you can fillet it like a regular fish. And look how thick that meat is. the skin and guys I do a special trick with this skin for me and for my dog I'll take this piece of flounder skin I'll salt it up and I'll put it in the oven for about 350 degrees and just let it dry out and crisp up and it makes flounder chips my dogs love to eat them as a snack and I also love to eat them as a snack too so you should keep that and try it. And guys, we're gonna get this other half filleted up, but that is how you fillet a flounder.